state of origin always, uh, no matter where they play, they're always great atmospheres and very parochial. And it's it's a year where, or it's a few weeks where the Queenslanders, New South Wales, the hatred really comes out. It won't be any different from uh, past years. It'll just be hammer and tong from the uh, the onset of the, uh, the whistle, opening whistle, and it'll be going for the full 80 minutes. And you know, most of the players won't realise how quick it'll go, but it'll just go like that, and they'll be. Uh, yeah, at the end of it, they'll be looking back, thinking how quick was that. And uh, but uh, I dare say there'll be uh, a few fireworks. It'll be no different than the other year. You know, the, obviously the guys that are picked for Queensland will be proud and do, play the house stand. Same with the guys from New South Wales. So, be no different than the other year. Um, hopefully, a bit of biffo might sort of make it a bit more interesting. Yeah, it's unfortunate in uh, in any sport that uh, when you've got so many good players, and we're in a fortunate position at the moment that we do have so many good players that. You're going to have a couple that do miss out, and unfortunately those guys didn't miss out this time, but there is game two and game three. You know, I, I don't really think anyone can be favourites. Every year it's a toss of the coin, a bit, a bit of luck either the way, a bit of a bounce of the ball, so all I know is it'll be a great, a great series once again, and, and, and uh, it'll be really exciting to watch. I don't think there's any favourites in State of Origin football. They both go out and play very strong. Whatever side gets a lucky breaks on the night.